our board members present and past. There's some board members that have been working almost a decade on this project to make it come to pass. And everyone in our community who has supported the vision of a new library for Galliano. It's been a long road to get to this place, but now a new library is emerging right before our eyes. Today we're officially celebrating the turning of the saw. And we would like to begin by acknowledging that we are on Coast Salish territory and we've asked Penelope Elder Florence James to open the ceremony today with the blessing of the ground where the library will stand. And so Florence, I'll turn it to you. I think you were going to ask our student Martha. And once we, once we make the hole in the ground with the shovel, I'll ask her to place the down. It's the highest way to show respect for the earth. So once we pierce the earth, usually it takes a, a whole day of ceremony. Once you open a spot in the ground, you need to bless it because the earth is alive and you need to honor the life it's gonna give and I'll fan the down with the feather so once we make the hole I'll pass it over to, to our future generation we call them Smanain and they're gonna be the ones that will be the leaders for the future and so that's the meaning for us so it's a special time for me to be with Sman A in your future generation. So once we make the hole, I'll ask her to put the eagle down and I'll fan it where the hole is. So can we make the hole with the shuffle? Well, we'll just let's, look let's at with let's that let's now. Let's yeah, we've got a separate okay. shovel for okay. that. I came to 
school here. My first day wasn't the fun day. I ran away. <laughs> I was going the wrong way. I ran, I ran south. <laughs> My hope snored. Thank you very much. Thank you, Corey. Uh, our next speaker, I'd like to introduce Dave Howe, who is a CRD director for uh, the Southern Gulf Islands, and he is going to say a few words on behalf of the Capital Regional District. Dave. Uh, <clears throat> just uh, before I do, and, and thank you, Pearl, for inviting me. Um, as, as a number of you know here, um, I wound up in this position uh, due to a very serious uh, bout of cancer on uh, Pender Island. So I was not expecting to be here as of January 1st of this year, uh, nor did I know much uh, about politics or the islands. Um, I did have a chance uh, as a young man back in 1949-1950 being raised on Mrs. Woodward's farm in Brentwood Bay uh, to go to high school and junior high with um, the Sutcliffe and the South kids and uh, the Underwoods and so on. And so <clears throat> I won't say I uh, learned a tremendous amount except in rugby from those uh, young guys, but uh, one thing that Greg Sam said to Ina just before uh, we came over was, um, uh, I believe, I express um, respect to an elder. Uh, and elder Florence has just been teaching me a few other uh, terms, which I won't try to practice now. <laughs> welcome. And welcome to you. Uh, I did uh, graduate from UBC and then went down to, uh, uh, to the U.S. to find out uh, why they were buying up Canada and why Pierre Trudeau was uh, helping us set up ways that that might not turn out to be the future of Canada. And um, my uh, grade three sweetheart said I left with, uh, ran away with blonde. Uh, today, uh, Ina, that I just referred to, is uh, my grade three sweetheart. I came back 20 years ago. We were happily married on Fender Island. And now, as I said, uh, since she's not here with you today, but she wanted me to pass on her congratulations and to recognize and understand that uh, now I represent all of the Southern Gulf Islands, not just, uh, of course, Pender Island, our community at the moment. And in this regard here, as it relates to the library, one thing Pearl pointed out to me when she found out that I came to this position actually to help create a year-round economy for the Southern Gulf Islands so young people could live here and make a good living, uh, have a vibrant economy, and be able to raise their children in a safe uh, environment under um, what is a beautiful uh, paradise, really, uh, that I just found out uh, in friends over, your friends over in uh, Sanniston, uh, that we have uh, a 10,000 year history yes. over at Sadaia, yes. 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 uh, that are as old as the pyramids in Egypt. I, I didn't know that a week ago. So uh, thanks for calling up Pearl and inviting me to this session, but Pearl did say that without a library, Dave, you're not going to get very far with helping uh, young people uh, to uh, come and spend time and raise their children, and, and I agree completely with her. She probably understands more about that than I do. But uh, it does take a team, and there's a fellow at, at the Capital Regional District, uh, I was just involved in this uh, peripherally, uh, but a fellow by the name of Malcolm Cowley, who I think has done a tremendous job, and, and he is not able to be here due to some family uh, personal situation today, but he did want me to pass on that from his viewpoint, this and he sent me some notes, that this is really a team effort. No one person could bring it uh, along by themselves. <clears throat> and he feels that the partnership uh, that has uh, come together under a triple bottom line approach, the Library Society, the school district, and the CRD, uh, working together as collectively as they've done to bring this, I believe, ahead of the schedule. Uh, and moving in the right direction financially is something that uh, we need to recognize uh, in, the, in the level of cooperation. And I certainly appreciate it in the fact that I don't take many calls from Pearl or anybody else saying, you know, can you jump in and help this thing out. So I would like to just recognize some people here that uh, Malcolm says have been very important to the process. Uh, from the Gallo Galliano Library Society, and if you're here you might raise your hand, Pearl Roberts, of course. Uh, Dave Aegis, is it? Over here, uh, Mike Hobel, who's working with me on the, the well, and Eileen Bodine. She's a 
fire training today. Oh. Uh, many hats. Yeah, I understand uh, there's about 600 volunteers working on the Southern Gulf Islands right now. So, And then number two from the Gulf Island School District, Rod, Rod Schofield. Schofield? Is that cool? Not here. Jeff Hawk, Hopkins. Bonnie McGillivray. <laughs> and uh, Sue McKenzie. Not here. And uh, from David Nairn Associates, uh, Malcolm would like to uh, McIntyre. He's here. And then from the late construction, Matt White, uh, Eric J.